Greetings, salutations, and welcome to this fifth entry into our Eldritch Encyclopedia. Today we will be discussing the Dreamlands and its four continents, each set to a cardinal direction. As was mentioned in our previous entry, people enter into the Dreamlands as their spirits find an entry path while they sleep. Visiting in spirit is the best way, simply because most of the physical world implications of a visit are minimal. You may remember, you may not, and the greatest risk that you incur is that should you perish in the Dreamlands, you will receive a jolt and be unable to return. However, before going on, it should be noted that there are said to be portals. Portals set in the most remote and dangerous places of our world, places unmapped and unmarked. These places that should you visit and enter into the portal, you enter into the dreamlands in body and in spirit. To do so provides the power to will the very existence around you. However, you enter in at the risk of your life, your only escape being through another portal. So with the two modes of entry, let us break and discuss the various continents that exist on this world, and what we know of them through dreamers. The Enchanted Woods, where the spirits enter, is on the western continent, and this continent is the most settled of all continents. Three locations of note are the port of Delathaline. This is where the merchants sail in from the other continents. There is Ulthar, where the cats live, and they devour any person who would dare to harm one of their feline friends. There is the ruins of Sarnath, where the water lizards roam. The southern continent is to be avoided, for it is a land of horrors. The city of Thalarian is there, where men may enter, yet none ever leave, converted into some sort of daemon species that lives there. The eastern continent has the great city of Selephes. Merchants from the eastern deserts bring the goods to trade from the forbidden lands, and it is home to the greatest of the living dreamers. The northern continent is the seat of power. The all-powerful developers and great ones live in their fortress of Kadath. Also in the north is the plateau of Lang, and it is from these heights that come down the giant spiders of Lang. Spiders that are sentient and move throughout the crags. They stalk travelers, and through their use and understanding of expanded dimensions, they move and strike victims in ways that are beyond our mere understanding. A final note on the dreamlands. Underneath all of the continents and the oceans weaves a labyrinthine system of tunnels and caves, natural and unnatural. They are portrayed by the ghouls of Carcosa. To discuss the ghouls and their presence here would require more time and ink than we have set aside for this entry, although it is short in time. What would need to be discussed is lengthy. So we will set that aside and get to that in our next entry. So I bring us to conclusion then. The Dreamlands are a wonderful and terrible place. To spend time here can be wonderful and terrifying simultaneously. To visit in spirit is an opportunity. To visit in body is to take a great risk on the hope of a great adventure and reward. To toy with the Force's presence is to invite death, but also to gain arcane insight that may be used. When we dream, may your spirit wander, and may your spirit stay safe. And until our next entry, this has been Sir Prook. Best of vibes, and in all your dreaming, may you stay suitably sane.